Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. Guys, some bullish news about Ripple and XRP, of course. It's going to be my daily. You've got the SEC finding Kim Kardashian today. <laughs> I'm sick of the Kardashians, to be quite honest with you guys. I mean, whatever. I'm just over their TV show. I can't stand it. Uh, anyway, we've got some updates in relation to Luna as well. I believe there is an economic collapse on its way. Some beautiful opportunities coming for retail investors. I'm going to go through everything today and the news and give you a crypto market update. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video, guys. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new to the channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well because as you can see right here, I love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And yes, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come on this incredible journey. We're just getting started, especially with XRP, because it's going to change the financial world forever. Also, uh, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through. It would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that. So give it a good old thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. It's down there. It's absolutely free. Thank you very much. You guys rock. Also, little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. I do not want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. And yes, we don't like to lose. You can lose money like that in the blink of an eye, especially in crypto, all right? So please be careful out there. Do your own research and due diligence. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the formalities are out of the way. And yes, I do have renovations going on in the office building today. I do apologize. This is going to go around for about six months. It's madness. Anyway. Altcoins that were up in my portfolio, you had Constellation, DAG, Quant, very bullish, Matic, VeChain, and Axie Infinity, which is very nice. Now, the first comment on each one of my videos will get legend status. I put this up last night. And again, for those of you who commented, commented first on these videos, uh, do I miss your videos? Enjoy your advice? Yes. Uh, com what about community posts? Yes, I'll give you a legend status if you're first on the community post. Anyway, just a bit of fun, guys. Anyway, now... This is what I want to point out as well. The investment one makes during these times will probably be the best part for many, many, or, you know, be the best part, you know, from years to come. All right. It's absolute facts. All right. I know this from personal experience. When the pandemic hit, I bought dividend paying stocks at an extremely low discount. Oil was down. I continued to dollar cost average for, you know, the entire duration. And I've seen some pretty crazy returns. All right. Sorry about the hammer in the background, guys. Anyway, let's go to CoinSpot. Because this is where I buy my cryptos in Australia, guys. Please feel free to use the referral link below. You will get $10 in Bitcoin, of course. Do your own research with this stuff. All these prices you see here are in Australian dollars. Everything else is set to USD. Because I'm catering for everybody around the world, including my Aussie fans. All right, It makes it easier for us and everyone else around the world because the US is the standard. Anyway. Now, let's go through the prices. Bitcoin sitting at $30,000. Again, this is pretty much flatlining for weeks. Ethereum's up slightly today to $2,095. You've got XRP at $0.73. Cents. I'm going to play you a clip in a moment, obviously later on in the video, in relation to XRP in 2018 from mainstream media. It is going to be insane. Stick around for it. Cardano, $0.67. Cents. You've got Solano, $52. Dogecoin at $0.09 cents as well. Polkadot's at $10. You've got Matic at $1.26. Shiba Inu's up as well, guys. Moving down, you've got Adam at $20. Lynx at $11.61. Stellar is at $0.18 cents as well. Algorand is at $0.56. Cents. Again, I'm very bullish on these coins. Luna Classic is down 7.58%. There's some interesting stuff happening with Binance on that. We'll get to that in a second as well. VeChain is at $0.03. Cents. Quant, $222. Did I not say the other day that this would make 7% in 24 hours? Unbelievable. Anyway, love quant. Now, Hedera is at nine cents as well. Mana and Sandbox a dollar ten and a dollar thirty one. Moving down, you've got Theta at a dollar sixty eight. Axie Infinity is up nearly four percent. Very nice to twenty dollars. So again, I'm up on my investment from the other day from that gorilla that I put in, and a gorilla means one thousand, one grand. So. That is just the joke I have with my cousin, <laughs> legend, mate. Anyway, I think I've started something there. Uh, moving on, guys. IOTA's at $0.44. Cents. You've got NEO at $13. Moving down, Phantom at $0.35. Cents. Engine is at $0.71, cents, which is nice. A good buy. Waves at $6. Reserve rights at $0.01. Cent. XDC is at $0.04. Cents. It's slightly down today, 3% almost, guys. But again, incredibly cheap. 
And of course, my other favorite is Gala Games at six cents. And of course, I love Reef, XYO, and Alliance Block and Casper. They are the ones that I'm bullish on. And I'm looking into some other projects as well, which I will do some more videos on. And the other one I want to point out as well is Veracity, VRA. Guys, this is crazy, this project. Go and have a look at it. It's ex especially bullish for you know creators like YouTubers, etc. It's a really good project for content creators, all right? And it's up 2.48%. I am staking this on CoinSpot as well, earning some pretty crazy interest on that. Now, let's go to Crypto Bubbles. And also, guys, I'm doing the Patreon thing, guys. This is incredible. I love talking with everyone in the community. This is um, only available to the subscribers. So please feel free to check that out. Links are below. Again, I post up everything that I'm doing in regards to trades, my dividend investing, investing, talking business, talking stuff in general. It's an awesome community that I'm building, guys, and for serious investors, because I love talking with everyone in there, all right? So go check it out. Let's go to Crypto Bubbles to see what's happening on the day. And we have everything on the in the green, straight up, all right? And the one that's bullish the most, Quant is up 8.1% today. 16% on the mar on obviously on the week, 50% on the month. It's still incredibly undervalued in my opinion. This is going to be a ten to twenty thousand dollar asset very soon. Just also keep in mind, three hundred and four dollars was its all time high USD. All right, which is like four hundred and fifty Australian. One hundred and forty dollars is its current price right now, which is insanely cheap. Uh, we've got some other ones here, guys. MKR up seven point eight percent. I'm not invested in this today. What else we've got here? Lido Dow keeps trading. I mean, this could be a good one for trading. I mean, this has been popping its head up for weeks, up and down, up and down. So could be a good one to trade on a trading bot if you're using that. But I just want to point out as well, those using trading bots, honestly, you will not become rich off trading bots. All right, straight up, you'll make some money here and there, like profits. That's what I'm doing just for fun. The real wealth is when you buy the dip and you hold long term, all right? Now, I just want to point out as well, Ethereum's not doing too well. I mean, straight after the merge, this is not doing too well at all. My investment is down significantly, guys, 3.7% on the day. Again, you know, I was doing a video yesterday in terms of the, the market cap, you know, $10 trillion market cap for all cryptos. Ethereum would be worth, at a $10 trillion market cap, be worth like $80,000. So again, maybe in 10 to 20 years, who knows, but I'm still holding it anyway. Hasn't been doing that too well. Uh, we've got Hedera as well, up 2.9% as well. Very bullish on Hedera. Guys, Crypto Bubbles is great just to check out for yourselves. Now, XRP Volcano going to blow very soon. Best-selling author Bryant McGill believes. I completely agree with this statement right here, guys. McGill, according to his LinkedIn page, is a human potential thought leader, best-selling author and social entrepreneur. In a recent tweet, he responded to his own Twitter post on September 4, showing that he stands by what he wrote back in uh, September. He tweeted that he expects the XRP and Ripple volcano to start blowing up very soon. I agree. Honestly, I really do. And he's basically said this, you know, yesterday. I have a feeling that XRP Ripple Volcano is going to be blowing sometime soon. Just remember, I told you, like I've been telling you for the past year, I, that's why I threw in another gorilla as well into XRP. Because again, once it goes, it's going to go so fast, you will miss out on the opportunity. All right, not financial advice. Do your own research. Now, McGill is one of the many book authors who have been posting tweets about XRP and Ripple recently, showing their interest last week. Andy Lian, author of recently published book on NFTs, also tweeted uh, uh, to ask his community whether he should start buying XRP ADA or remain in meme tokens, which I do not recommend. Utility is going to be king. An actor from Breaking Bad television series, Daniel Makanda, Makanda, Carter, Forgive me if I'm pronouncing the name wrong. Also tweeted that Ripple is going to beat the SEC in court. However, in earlier tweets by these people, two of which call themselves influencers, hardly mention crypto or anything related to it. Anyway, that's besides the point. XRP is going to go parabolic. Now, 1 billion XRP did not leave escrow this time. Is Ripple done with the uh, regular withdrawals, which is really interesting as well. I'm not too sure if this article is true or not. I did see someone on Twitter um, put up that they are still continuing to do this. But uh, so October 3rd on a Saturday, the first day of the month, when uh, over the past few years, it has been traditional for Ripple uh, to unleash a whopping billion XRP. To, the withdrawal did not take place, which is interesting. This might sign signify that the long-term campaign uh, on withdrawing 55 billion XRP monthly has come to an end. Ripple began releasing 1 billion XRP at the start of each month in 2018 in order to support the token's liquidity and inject uh, into circulation every time. Over the past two years, it would release two chunks of 500 million XRP and lock around 800 million XRP back into escrow until the next month. 
could this be the end? I don't know, but I know for a fact that you know institutions will buy XRP directly from Ripple. That's what they're doing. They're going to keep a massive holding for institutions once this case is over. They will not buy from the retail market. They'll buy directly from Ripple. Now, XRP, guys, price prediction as well. Again, I've seen an insane insane prediction as well obviously you know they're going after a 155 trillion dollar problem in which is global you know money transfers cross-border payments etc and i'm doing this for fun just so you all you mark you know everyone can have a bit of a laugh but i'll play you a video in a second but 155 trillion dollars let's have a look at what the price of xrp would be if that were the case all right not quadrillion, 155 trillion. One XRP would be valued at $3,106.17, an upside of 6,822%. You know, Jimmy Val's not sounding too crazy right now from Val Hill Capital. I'm just saying, and a lot of got, I got a lot of comments for that in that video on my channel, still going parabolic as well, but he may have a point here, guys, because this is what it's going after. And I'm going to play your bullish interview in a second as well. Stick around with it. Cracks start to appear in the financial system. Bank of England, Credit Suisse, and Deutsche Bank as well. Warning signs are brewing right now with major financial institutions that may be on the verge of another Lehman Brothers style collapse. For those of you who do not know what happened in 2018 when Lehman Brothers collapsed, go watch the movie on Netflix. I can't remember what it's called. It explains everything in detail, what exactly happened. It is happening again. Inflation is going through the roof. For those of you who don't know, go research it. Interest rates are going parabolic as well. Banks and governments are printing cash like there's no tomorrow. The world is on the brink of a massive collapse. I said that Robert Kiyosaki yesterday pretty much was saying this for months and months and months. I am starting to believe him right now. This is not sustainable, straight up. It's like a, a crypto DAO that you know has an, an APY of like, three or four hundred thousand percent it's just not sustainable this is what's happening in economies right now around the world in my personal opinion the collapse is coming and the switch to digital assets will be happening all right this is what's happening right now i think a lot of you know governments and banks are going to be switching to stable coins cbdc's this is what's happening right now it's a big reset all right be prepared i am definitely going to be buying assets on the cheap this is the way people really make money and i as per my community post guys this is where real dividends will pay off in for years and years to come all right that's what i need everyone to understand it's not financial advice but please read into this stuff and look into it now some other stuff right here guys money flowing out of crypto founds uh 666 million less than previous quarter indicating bearish investors are already out all right so according to the data from bloomberg Money flowing out of crypto exchange traded funds has slowed by 97% Q3 compared to Q2. Investors pulled $17.6 million from crypto ETFs in Q3 in comparison to a record withdrawal of $683.4 million from ETFs in Q2. The second quarter of 2022 saw record withdrawals from crypto exchange traded funds with a withdrawal of $683 million, which affected the price of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as well. Bitcoin's price has seen a 60% decrease that quarter, posting a record low of 17,000 US dollars. So again, this is what I'm saying, guys. Everyone's freaking out, making moves right here out of crypto. But honestly, I think a lot of people are going to start making moves into crypto. Banks around the world have $9.2 billion in crypto exposure, new study. So new research published by an internal uh, international committee formed by a developed banking regulation standard is offering some insights on the exposure of banks to crypto assets. The Basel Committee on Banking Supervision sought to analyze the exposure of banks in crypto to crypto as part of its analytical supervisory and policy initiatives related to the nascent asset class. Guys, look at this, guys. 19 banks, 10 of which are from the Americas, 7 from Europe, and 2 from elsewhere. Uh, the research found that on the, uh, the sorry that and the average crypto asset exposure of banks is around 9.24 billion dollars. All right, so they are invested into crypto. Why? Because they they won't invest in stuff that they don't believe is going to take off. That 9.2 billion dollars on average will go probably to 100 very soon. All right. Now let's go to CryptoMeter.io and then I'm going to play this interview and end up on this video because I've got a meeting today which I need to rush to. Money's been flowing into XRP. Very nice. Ethereum. What else we got here, guys? You've got FTT, Cardano as well. Uh, what else we got here? BNB. 
And Bitcoin, of course, everyone's buying Bitcoin. Now, let's go to Twitter because I want to play this interview with Brad Garlinghouse because I think it's very important. I'm at the Wall Street Bull Oz. Please make sure you follow me on all social media platforms. Guys, make sure you get the spelling right because there's so many fake accounts on Twitter, TikTok. Everything is the official ones down below. So please make sure you read the spelling. Here is the interview on CNBC, guys, Fast Money with Brad Garlinghouse. In 2018, a $155 trillion solution. Listen to this. This problem is measured truly in the trillions of dollars. So while we're on kind of, you know, mile marker one of a 26 mile marathon, we're definitely past the starting line. That was Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse on Power Lunch earlier today when I asked him about the future of Ripple and how XRP, the cryptocurrency, could be used. And according to BK, what you just heard Garlinghouse say is the biggest thing investors are missing about Ripple. BK's over at the plasma to break it all down. Hey, Beeps. Hey, Melissa, thanks for that. Yeah, so Brad had some interesting things to say, and I thought it was really important to break down what he's talking about and what the opportunity, at least that Brad sees, and I think you know, ultimately could be the bull case for, uh, for Ripple. So let's break it down. Talking about the size of the payment markets, according to McKinsey, it's about $155 trillion is the size of the market. So your total addressable market is massive. Right now, if you take a look at what it costs to move $155 trillion, it's about $31 billion. Roughly around 20 basis points is what it's costing you. So if using Ripple, and this is from Ripple Stats, you could save about, according to them, about 60%. Well, how do they do that? So you use the Ripple Ledger plus the Ripple currency. And that's the key to this 60% right here. The reason why using the Ripple currency, if people start doing this, is good for is, is the way you save is because right now banks have to hold foreign currency everywhere in the world they're called nostro accounts it's very cost intensive to have that inventory around the world they can simply replace that foreign currency with xrp and they can save a lot of money on that so let's take a look at what ripple's <laughs> been doing obviously it's been down i think we have a chart here yep obviously down from the peaks up here right the whole crypto market has kind of gone sideways here but what does Louise Yamada say? The bigger the base, the higher in space. In my view, you have to have people start using that XRP, that Ripple currency, in substitute for foreign currency. But that's the utility. That's the use case for Ripple, the currency. If that's the case, then that's a pretty nice base, right? Do you see that? Anyway, I'm not going to say any more, guys. As bullish as anything now, I'm going to quickly go through Twitter. Uh... Again, you got Johnny Deaton here. There's an interview basically with Genza last night on CNBC on Squawk Box, uh, basically saying that everything he sees here on this chart, basically Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, XRP, those are securities. The guy's mad. Anyway, I'm just saying Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian uh, for obviously has been charged here with unlawfully touting crypto security. Good. Um, again, I just think, you know, I'm sick of the Kardashians. I can't stand them. I don't like their TV show. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Good luck to them though, but I can't stand them. Anyway, moving on. XDC, guys, meeting with R3 Quarter at Impel's office. Do not sleep on XDC, guys. As part of Quarter's Venture, Quarter's venture Development Program, Impel will connect to their corporate partners and enterprise customers, building a multi-party dApps in the Quarter ecosystem. Do not sleep on XDC. Bill Gates' grandfather right here. I don't know if this is true or not, but this is full on, all right? Founded the Rockefeller Foundation and the Rockefeller Foundation right here, guys. Frederick Taylor Gates. I don't know if he's related. That's crazy. First Luna C right here. Luke Burn, 1.8 million-ish right now. A burnt on Binance. That's incredible as well. The global financial collapse, right? This is my tweet. Incoming. People will move their funds into crypto. Wait and see. Also, I'll be loading up on dividend stock portfolio. This is where real wealth is made. That's absolute facts. So again, keep an eye on Ripple as well, guys. The modernization of global payments is here. Economies, consumers, and businesses are either reap, reaping the benefits of these improved financial services or fa are falling behind the innovation curve, which is absolute facts. Fear and greed index is sitting at 24 right now, and the average 30-year fixed mortgage rate has increased to 7.06%. That is absolutely insane. I remember my father telling me in the early, you know, late 80s when the last massive crash happened, interest rates were around you know, 20 to 30%, all right? So that's when the, you know, when I remember the crash and there's a 2008 financial crisis when the Lehman Brothers collapsed. It's happening again, guys. It's going to get a lot worse. Also, um, 
you know, Brad Garlinghouse has got a lot of fake profiles on Twitter as well. Um, again, I posted this video as you watched right here, guys, and uh, a lot of, you know, there was uh, like a blue tick as well, which was fake. They're buying accounts and changing the name. Please be careful with those fake accounts. Now, let's go to crypto market cap or coin market cap, sorry, 1.4 trillion AUD, and that would be nice for USD, but I'm going to change this right now, guys. I do apologize about that because, again, I do check this in Australian dollars. All right. Now, $944 billion, $55 billion in volume, 39% BTC, 17% Ethereum. And if I go to my watch list, guys, let's just quickly go down here. Banking coins. This is where my money is going, guys. Ethereum, X, not more Ethereum, by the way. XRP, Cardano. Uh, you've got XLM, Algorand, Quant, Hedera, IOTA, XTC, Casper, and Alliance Block. That's where my money is going right now. Dollar cost averaging. And I might add to Axie Infinity as well, by the way, uh, because it's earning me 78% interest and paying out daily, which is insane. And it's growing at a rapid pace. Anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. Stay safe. We'll speak to you in the comments. Follow me on social media and check out the Patreon as well. Join up, guys. I'm building a bullish community. Stay safe. Peace out. Bye.